Live right now. We're we're live now. We're live now. Um, at the Dandy House. I can't hear you at all, so let me take one yeah. off. Yeah, we're live now at the Dandy House. This is Link Dandy Paranormal with the infamous Paul Kenyon in the infamous well, Dandy Closet in the master bedroom closet. We will be doing an Estes session for 15 to 30 minutes. Depends on how much he can take. Uh, sit back and enjoy. Uh, he is ready. He cannot hear. He can't hear, nothing, can't so hear what I'm like saying. Blaring. So, in this segment, Paul Kenyon and Link Dandy Paranormal are doing the first of two Estes sessions. In this session, Paul Kenyon is in the hot seat, and Link Dandy Paranormal is asking questions. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Link Dandy Paranormal ended up being questioned by the entities that Paul was transmitting. Paul and Link have always differed in their opinion of the paranormal, where Paul is the skeptic and Link has seen enough to know that the paranormal does indeed exist. So here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. I'm going to stop oh my right now. God. This is bull crap. Scaring me. You know how I feel about a lot of this stuff. But I, yes, as I do. As soon as I pulled the blindfolds down, not because of that. Yeah. But I all I heard was, hey, Link. <laughs> oh, my. In the radio? No, in the yeah. wall. Oh, my God. Hey, Link. I heard oh, hey, Wow. A male voice. And I didn't even, I didn't say that. That oh was my. weird. Oh, my God. Just scared me to death. We should be recording this. We are recording. Uh, well, you can't hear what I'm saying, so here I go. I, I have I'm, no idea what you're doing, so... Okay. Um, we are at the infamous... Um, I was scared? Dandy House. Who's scared? Can you tell me who you are? Run there. You are going to run, or do you want me to run? You got to tell me what you need a little bit more. By the wall? By the wall? That's by the wall. Sound like you said. Well, we are by the wall. Um, we are by walls. We're in a closet. Um, we're not in the closet, but we're in a closet. And Paul Kenya is doing this for Teddy? Petty or Teddy, he said, for the second time that I know of. Petty, Teddy. I, I don't know what he said. Oh, I just saw an orb. Teddy, is that the name of somebody? In this particular Estes method, Link Dandy immediately starts as is uh, customary. However, immediately after it's starting, the entity starts rattling off odd words, in my opinion, to exert dominance. Clipped. Clipped? Clipped. Said it twice. Clipped. Clipped. Hmm. Clipped. Come and get it. Come and get it. Oh, oh you're being tough on Female me. Female voice. You're being tough on me today. Uh, did you stay here at the Dandy House at one time? Is that where you got the come and get it from? Well, Dropped it down, dro male. Dropped it down. Are you referring to the board that possibly went across the steps that goes upstairs? Because... The steps are made very My hair? precarious. Six minutes into the video, Link is already having trouble with the entities being allowed to ask the questions. The entities already are taking over. And Esta's method is quite tricky. Just as with any conversation with any regular human being, one can let the other one talk and lead the conversation 
hopefully eventually getting around to what the main character Link is interested in obtaining. Link is being polite in entertaining the questions or the statements or the random words that the entities seem to want to talk about or um, start a conversation over. So trying to be polite, Link is trying to entertain them in hopes he'll get something in return. Your hair. Do you like your hair? Because I'm at a loss here. I don't like. I don't like, in my opinion, was a direct answer to the question that Link posed about the hair. Any skeptic would have difficulty, in my opinion, at stating otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know this uh, real good barber person. Um, maybe Mike went to this barber when he lived Tickle, here. tickle. <laughs> Ooh, we got frisky uh, entities today. Um, I guess I could say, can you give me your name? And I can reveal it to Paul or when he's done. They lulled them all. They lulled them all. I don't know what that means, but... Um, are you talking about at the hair-cutting place, or are you talking about here at the Hinsdale house? Must be. Must be. I'm thinking you're talking about the Hinsdale house, because hair places aren't general. Well, no, I have seen a hair place that was... That was um, um, infested, I guess, is what you'd say. Does anybody here know the Dandy family? I... Faring the end. Faring the end. But do you know the Dandy family? That's what I want to know. Here, Link is uh, noticing the stagnant uh, Estes method and is getting more aggressive at discussing the dandies, which is all that Link has on his mind. The dandies and that's it. Do you know the dandy family? Prompted to leave. Prompted Are you saying you wanted uh, the dandies to leave so you prompted them to leave? Because they weren't very happy about what happened to them. I just heard the word Estes. Claire, Claire oh Isabel, my God. Estes. Well, that stuff's not on the radio, so... In the second segment that I did prior to the first one, I mentioned that the word Estes is never heard on the radio. That is not entirely true, as it is possible that there's a paranormal program running simultaneously with this Estes method being conducted at the haunted Hinsdale house. I don't believe it's likely, but it is possible. However, general radio stations would never use the word Estes. Uh, they don't talk about Estes. He doesn't know. Who doesn't? Estes, again. Who doesn't know? You want to tell me who you're referring to? Come along with us. What the... Well, I came all the way out here, and Paul came all the way over here. Maybe we could go along with you? You remember now. Yeah, I've been here a few times, and, um... Yeah, I remember. Immediately following Paul stating, You remember now. I remembered when I was horrified when I was sleeping in Mike's bed or attempting to lay down to go to sleep in Mike's bed and the doorknob was being messed with uh, right there at the front door. First the lock and then the doorknob itself. Every time. You're not the only one. Well, I, I'm not insinuating that I am. If you're talking, Mike, but, stop for a moment. If you're... Okay. I don't know what's going on. I can't see or hear. 
I'm getting... Oh, my God. I'm getting a one-on-one. -on -one. God, I hope he doesn't panic. And... My whole body is chilled right now. Thank God. At this juncture, I am truly concerned that Paul is being harassed by his buddy that seems to have been there since the dandies. Um, and I did not want him to panic. I wanted to do everything that he, Paul, wanted me to do so that he could make heads or tails of what was going on with the entities that he was hearing. I don't want him to panic. Come again? I said I don't Get want Get out? I have another day here, and I'm keeping it. You're not pushing me Understand. Out. Understand. Sound like you said understand, Nick. 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 Well, there's better. We're ready for you. We're ready for you. Well, I'm ready for you. But we're not talking about the dandies like I want to talk about. At this juncture in the Estes Method, I was wondering if the entity was referring to a well-known Nick that has been at the haunted Hinsdale house numerous times before and was harassed there uh, during his stay. I was thinking that that's who the entity was referring to. I want to know if you know the dandies. Again, you remember. I remember a lot of things, but I wasn't here when the dandies were here. I was in a different state. Ooh, the light went off. Uh-oh. Disgraceful you are. Oh, Disgraceful. Well, that's a thing to say. I wonder why that light Am went I off. Am I getting responses directly from the thing that doesn't like me? I'm going to move forward a little bit. Better know. Better know. Oh. I didn't hear that. Say it again. Say it again. If that was a threat, say it again. At this juncture, I realized that neither myself nor Paul was in charge of this Estes method. It was obvious that the entities were harassing him and interviewing me, resulting in Paul breaking the norm of an Estes method and him asking the questions himself instead of having me ask the questions. The entities, I believe, are so hateful at times that they like to control what's going on and change everything up from how it is supposed to be or is usually conducted. You heard. Lift up! Lift up! What? In a very strong lift up! That lift up business, I believe, in my opinion, was the entities trying to get Paul to get out or stand up and get out, but, but they used the word lift up, which could be used in place of stand up and get out. That is what I was thinking was going on between Paul and the entities at this juncture. So No, I'm not leaving. Men and ladies, whoever's talking. Come forward and, and meet me halfway. I want to talk about the dandies. Are you going to entertain me? Why be present? The words, why be present, I was thinking when I was in the chair asking the questions, was the entities asking Paul, uh, in other words, uh, that they wanted him to leave, and why be present um, is a uh, reasonable uh, conversation uh, verbiage that they are asking Paul, well, what do you need to be here for? That's what I was thinking when I was sitting in the chair, witnessing what I was seeing. Um. 
That's, that's the way it should be. I'm present. No dirty pants. I was thinking that they were referring to Paul, but I answered uh, regarding myself as though they were or could have been referring to me. Um, not being sure that they were talking about Paul or me, I did answer that as though they were referring to me. Dirty pants. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he's got the fun ones today. I'll slap you. Ooh. Uh, he's got the fun ones today that I had a couple years ago. Notice the violence that the entity has no problem um, exhibiting uh, via verbiage um, with the words, I'll slap you, which may sound funny at the time, but is very serious um, given the experiences that Paul himself has experienced at uh, the haunted Hinsdale house uh, numerous times, um, verbally and physically, uh, having been abused. So, in theory, that comment wasn't funny. It was very threatening. Can you please go? No. No? Mm, well, I'll take that invite that you invited us to. Um, Isn't but, this exciting? You have no idea how exciting this is. Um, that's why we're here, um, a, to share the I've excitement. I've three times now, there's this quaint little, almost wicked giggle that has come out three times. The words, isn't this exciting, is really not what it would first appear to be. I believed when I was sitting there listening to what Paul was saying uh, that, again, this was threatening um, him or myself, either one or both at the same time. Uh, the entity seemed to have a, a, a way of uh, saying things that sound funny, but they are of the darkest uh, of the darkest nature, I believe. I said there that you got the fun ones a here. A female voice. Yeah, I had some fun ones last couple of times. You ago. better move it. Well, I'm sitting right here. If Bastard? You... Bastard's never said on the radio. No. Um... This is for all of the uh, skeptics. Um, the word bastard, I, I, I guess they could be talking about an animal, but uh, I really don't believe that that word is ever on the radio. And when you clearly hear this in your ears, and repeat it because that's the the process of Estes. You repeat what you hear. Um, you, there is no way that you can deny that you heard the word, uh, the swear word, or whatever word it, that it is that's appalling. That you also know is not on the radio as a rule. I'm not going to tell you to knock me out of this chair, but if that's it's how you the best arm. If you want to move me. The best arm comment was clearly a direct response to knock me out of this chair. If that's what you want to do was what I was driving at. And I immediately get uh, something about a, the best arm, uh, which is a direct threat to me. You're going to have oh, to do, on. do more than words. I'm thinking you're going to have to do more than words and immediately, immediately, oh, come on. In other words, I am calling its bluff and it doesn't want to exert that energy on me, Link Dandy Paranormal. I have yet to see that energy <laughs> imposed on me, but uh, one of these days maybe I'll be quote unquote lucky. This is unbelievable. There's that giggle again. Four Ooh, times. The same exact giggle. That's nasty. Different inflection. Same mm -hmm. voice, it okay. sounds like. That is nasty. 
I'll snap it. Ooh. Is that a promise? Or is that just words? Because you've really clocked Paul a few times here. And I'm wondering if you're going to do the same to me. It's a simple question. Answer me. Communication? Oh, you'd rather communicate with me than clock Even me? Even so what? Even so what? Are you saying you don't want to clock me? At this juncture, I'm pulling out all the stops and calling its bluff. I found it very interesting that when I brought up that it's a simple question, I uh, immediately or soon after get the word out of Paul, communication. Uh, communication is verbiage, and verbiage is a question. Since you don't want to talk about the dandies, you want to be personal. You'll find it. What, tonight, when I go to bed? It's coming. I had a feeling, so it'll be before tomorrow morning, I'm presuming, because I leave tomorrow morning. I've said it before. What can you repeat? What have you said before? Tell me what you've said before. What the hell was that? It sounded like a, a gun cocking. Oh, jeez. After I reviewed the uh, the Estes method with Paul in the hot seat, I, I am uh, torn between me being interviewed by the, the entities and them threatening Paul. And... Uh, if it is that the entities were actually threatening me, uh, I was, uh, after a while, simply over it and I'm going to call its bluff. And after the uh, previous comments, I got four threats in a row, right one right after another, that the entity is uh, trying to scare me with. Perhaps you know the misnames. You need to leave. I know you've Don't said that before. You need, and, and I you am need not. To leave. You need. Yes, I have a job to go to, and family and um, stuff to do. I will leave, but I'm not leaving this instant. At this juncture, I think that the entity, if it was talking to me, uh, realized that I wasn't going anywhere, and its threats were idle to me. Um, so it pulled a different card and startled Paul. All right, that's the last one I'm going to hear. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. No, I just heard I'll kill her. In conclusion, this Estes method seemed to only have one nasty entity uh, with the inclusion of the, the girls giggling and laughing which could have been uh, a malicious laugh and not um, of, of joy and being funny. Uh, the bottom line is uh, we succeeded and the entity lost this time. Okay, uh, this concludes our Estes method here at the Haunted Hinsdale House with Paul Kenyon. Uh, I will be here linked to any paranormal for one more night, and I hope that you do uh, tune in for us. So, thank you for watching.